Welcome to my brand new channel, The Psychic Scene by Jennifer Jean. I'm Jennifer Jean and I'm a psychic medium. So anyway, I'm here to talk about how to strengthen your intuition during these difficult times of the coronavirus. We all are born with intuition, with that gut instinct, and it's how we develop it and stay calm and focused during this time that's gonna help us get through it. So what really is intuition? It is the ability to understand something instinctively without conscious reasoning. So I'm here to show you some ways to get through this time and to know what kind of intuition that you have. So anyway, so why do we need intuition at this time? We need to stay connected to our loved ones. It's very important to our, to our, our mental well-being and we want to know that they're okay. So we may sometimes feel them even when they're not around and that's very important because we need to stay connected so that we keep our, our sanity. <laughs> anyway, so another way that um, we need intuition during this time is that it is our means of survival. And it could just be from knowing where we're gonna get our next paycheck, um, how we you know, get our goods and services. I mean, I know uh, before I go to the store, I focus on which store may have toilet paper or have the uh, products that I need to get me through this time. So it's very valuable. And also um, just to have your, your mental well-being, know what, how you will, um, keep your boundaries with people and know how you'll keep your boundaries with yourself. Know when you want to see people and when it's not appropriate. So it's good to know how you're feeling and to tune into yourself every day to get there. So I'm here to help you today. So there are four different kinds of intuition and we all may have combinations of all four, but uh, usually we have one that is stronger than the other. So I'll, I'll explain those to you. So the first is physical intuition, and that is more of a, a kinesthesia, that you feel other people's pain. Uh, as a psychic, sometimes when I'm reading for somebody, I, I feel that they may have heart problems, I'll feel a heaviness in my chest or breathing problems, and that's really important to know right now, um, you know, because people are getting very sick. So that's very, it's like just a survival mode um, form of intuition. Um, and this shows that you're a healer. So if you do experience this, it shows that you have the capacity for great healing. So there's also emotional intuition, and that's that you feel other people's feelings, and you may be doing that a lot. You may read stories in the paper and um, see people crying and that you cry, or you know their, their pain is your pain. So, but this shows that you're a very compassionate person and that you are capable of love, of unconditional love. So that's a good thing to have. So the third kind of intuition is mental intuition, and this is, um, understanding of people ideas and you know sometimes it's just those things that if you lose your keys that you can find them I mean that happens to me I try to mentally picture where I left them or where they may be and usually that works sometimes it does <laughs> and then the last kind of intuition is spiritual intuition and that is connecting with the divine so I'm also a medium and I do connect with loved ones who have crossed over, also the archangels, the angelic realm, and the ascended master. So this is a more advanced type of intuition, but it's something that everyone can learn. And everybody has different degrees of talent in all four of these areas. So um, we'll be in our future videos, we'll be looking into this, maybe practicing this. And I really welcome all your comments on everything that we talk about in this, uh, in this series. So anyway, how can, we, how can we strengthen our intuition during these times? So first of all, you want to have a little meditation and get comfortable, um, pick a time when you won't be disturbed, um, go to a quiet place and really make it a, a ritual for yourself. So, um, when you, so what you want is to have a pencil and pen nearby and um, just get comfortable. So when you're starting, just watch your breath, so just close your eyes, uh, get in a comfortable position and watch your breath going in and out. 
And then ask for protection. Uh, this is really important so that you don't let any, any bad mojo in. Um, so what you might wanna do is if you have a higher power uh, or your guides or whatever, ask them to uh, protect you. And I usually imagine myself encircled in uh, a white light or a column of white light that goes through the crown of my head. And this is very helpful. It might be a little tingly, it might look a little twinkly in your mind's eye, uh, but it is very effective. And you know, when you feel that connection, you know you're ready to begin. And maybe set an intention also. Um, you may want to ask, um, you know, how can I get through these times? You know, what, what do I need to know to help me get through these difficult times? So once you get to that point, you want to have some kind of imagery to show that you're open. You're open to any messages you may receive from your higher power. So it may be, you know, you in your mind's eye, you light a candle or you see a flower um, opening up from a bud or you actually just have like an open sign uh, in your mind's eye. And then during this time, maybe set your timer for 10 or 15 minutes gather your impressions and while you're you're listening and you know engaging all five of your senses you can write down so you may hear something about a loved one you may um, be tuning into more how you're feeling and that's very important too because it's self-care um, and you know just see what comes through there's nothing that's right or wrong just anything anything is good that you write down so take some time and when you feel that you're finished, um, and don't go to sleep, <laughs> um, end your meditation consciously. So maybe you, um, you give thanks to your higher power for giving you this information and then you can kind of close down shop. So maybe in your mind's eye, you put a close sign, uh, you blow out the candle or you let the flower go back into the bud and, and really thank your guides for giving you this information. So what you can do to check yourself is you can have your impressions in your journal and then maybe a week or so you can look back and see what you're feeling and see if anything has come to pass. Um, if any of your feelings have gone away or if you're feeling even more anxious, what you can do about that. Your, your inner wisdom is there to help you. Um, also, you can check in with other people because they're going to be feeling the same way you are and you can see if anything that you may have picked up about another person is true. So that is checking your intuition. It may just be little mundane everyday things like where did I find toilet paper? <laughs> um, but anyway, they're all valid and um, it does take practice. There's no right or wrong answers and just be patient with yourself. Uh, I've been doing this for 30 years and there's some days I'm not sure that I'm picking up on the right things, but it just, it really just take time and practice. Anyway, in our, um, in our next video, I'm going to be talking about self care through Reiki and Reiki is a Japanese, um, form of healing. It's called the universal life force. Um, and it, I've been doing it, uh, I'm a level one trained Reiki practitioner. Uh, I really enjoy it, it's helped me get through these difficult times. And we're gonna be going over very easy practices that you can do for your self care and also to help increase your intuition. Um, if you would like, if you're interested in a reading with me, my website is readingsbygenniferjean.com and I have many different services I can offer you. Also, I'm going to be teaching, uh, co-teaching a class with my sister, Jill Miller, my fabulous sister. Uh, she is the headmistress for the Finishing School for Modern Women and she's based in Wichita, Kansas, and this is the first time we're gonna do our class virtually. Uh, it will be on May 30th from 1 to 3.30 Central Time. So we do hope uh, that you join us. I will put the link uh, below, so if you're interested in taking the class virtually, we'd love to have you, the more the merrier. I've taught this class with her many times, and we have so much fun, and we actually give each other readings at the end. Anyway, um, I want to end this video by saying thank you so much. Uh, may the entire universe be filled with peace and joy, love and light, and may the light of truth overcome all darkness. Victory to that light. Namaste.